Next presenter, Victor Moros, Managing Director of ESTT Group, Automated Complex of the Meteor M2 Satellite Payload Data Quality Analysis. Dear colleagues, thank you for this opportunity to share with you information about our work. CTT Group has been a player on the uh, geoinformation markets since 2005. We have come ex expertise in the field of uh, creating geospatial data. So the topic of my speech will be what we did for a FNEM uh, project. It's a ground special automated complex for Meteor M. This is what I told you earlier. Generally, the complex is designed to automate the work of operators uh, who do f fit for purpose analysis. At the moment, most of the operation are made manually, which uh, consumes a lot of time. Well, we originally anticipated uh, distributed automation uh, in our work, which hasn't been used before. These are the intended tasks which our complex addresses. Assessment of compliance of information obtained during a ground inspection and calibration, analysis information for further use throughout the active life cycle of the satellite, information support for developers of satellite and uh, comparing information from the meteor with the information that is uh, used as the control information or the base map. This slide discloses equipment that we're analyzing. First of all, it's a multi-zone satellite system in optical range with 50 meter resolution. Also, multi-zone scanning equipment of smaller resolution to receive global images of Earth with resolution of about one kilometer. Which are used for the ice coverage analysis, maritime analysis, and which is later on used by the Hydrometeorological Service of Russia. Also such thing, such equipment as infrared spectrometer is needed for identification of temperature profile and humidity of atmosphere. We also have a microwave temperature moisture probe of atmosphere, where that's temperature and 
humidity analysis of atmosphere to build vertical profiles of temperature and humidity and to get images with different temperatures of the underlying surface. On this slide, we're showing the data, what it looks like, how the data from the satellite end up on the receiving station and then distributed along different devices and hardware, like scanning device, KMSS, and, and end up in the system of information distribution. Naturally, this complex is placed both in the VNIEM company itself and NCMZ, National Research Center of Earth Monitoring. And we linked it with the one gigabit uh, communication channel. Initially, this complex was designed based on the idea that it's going to function, it's going to operate two satellites, uh, ETRM number one, one and one, two. That's why information resources of our complex for payload information are 135, 165 terabytes. But we need to note here that per day for each target uh, equipment must process a few gigabytes of information. Like KMSS, this uh, number is over 10 gigabytes. For the scanning device and uh, Fourier spectrometer, they must process uh, about 7 gigabytes per day. The minimal information flow is typical for FTZA, less than one gigabyte, which is because of the low spatial resolution of the data acquired from it. The complex consists of a few software components which are shown on this slide, which are responsible for the input and storage of information, its pre-processing analysis of the quality and the visualization of the results of the analysis. The first component is the interlinkage of the communication and data transmission through the communication channel. The second software component is the analysis of the quality of the information, which is made up of a number of software suites which address the objectives of input, storage, information, analysis of its quality, both automatically and interactively. In the course of our work, we built a software for the repository of the target information, which receives all the data, be it source data and process data. It contains also thematical databases, which include the information for calibration and uh, analysis of information. For the incoming of the target information to the complex, we use organized the data exchange channel. This channel is run and monitored by a complex of communication interlinkage and data sharing in a regular functioning mode. Our SMS files come from there automatically, but it's not always convenient. Sometimes the operator needs to process the old file, which somehow didn't end up in the system. For that, we need an interface for manual upload of the data. Here you can see this interface of the complex, which allows us to upload data manually without any complex of data distribution. This interface allows us to upload and register files in the system as standard files and do the necessary operations with them about quality assurance. Also through the same interface we can delete information for a certain number of orbital circles.
On this slide, you can see the actual data processing since its reception and its until its visualization on GeoPortal. After copying the information into the quality assurance system, it is distributed among the different hubs, and uh, we do distributed processing of the data. Oh, we do it on eight hubs. The incoming image is split into eight different parts. We do parallel processing, and then all of it is stitched together. And this way, we are considerably minimizing the times for processing. On this slide, you can see our interface of the distributed processing head up, which does the processing and analysis of the quality. In this case, we see the example of November 2017 for KMSS devices consisting of seven segments. Each segment is processed by a separate hub. On this slide, you can see it's subsection A. You can see the average time for processing of the segment. B demonstrates the overall processing time for all hubs required for processing analysis and the sizes of the operational memory for this download. And uh, in the C section, you can see the loads of the system in the course of the processing. As a result of the work of the complex, we see products of different level of processing, which is explained by the fact that we do the analysis of the control hall characteristics, be it radiometrical parameters, signal, noise, lower, upper ranges, and biometric parameters. The size of uh, pixel, actual spatial resolution, and referencing accuracy. All of it is done with the algorithms which can be used or can use the pre-processed mass of the information. Most important level is RSML format, which is coming to the repository of our complex for assessment and quality assurance. Then it is processed by the software suite. And we form the segments of target information of the same size in the format of error. On this slide, you can see the software interface that allows us to do quality assurance interactively with the participation of the operator. The software has all the basic functions, which include the possibility of visualizing the image in different ways of synthesis, work with histograms, reprojection of data, creation of masses of uh, base information, and measurement of distances. At this level, we do the analysis of the metric information. Later on, we develop products which are involved in the automatic quality assurance on a number of parameters. As output, we have products in two formats, HDF and GeoTIFF. Next, the previously developed images are processed by GeoService means for their subsequent visualization on the GeoPortal. This slide shows the quality tab, which has all the tools grouped there which are necessary for quality insurance. This is the set of tools for geometric characteristics analysis like the pixel size, the swath size, referencing accuracy, whose use would require additional basic reference information. In the software, it is implemented through the connection of special web services. The toolkit for the analysis of radiometric characteristics, dynamic range, and signal to noise ratio, which are used in the processing of the actual image. Here, the interface of the, you can see the interface of the visualization of information. You can see an example on this screen, the screenshot of 
multiple scanning device from November 2015, when the operator can view the acquired processed material and also get it for himself and download it to their automatic um, workstation for metadata and for subsequent manual quality assurance or some other purposes. Yet another Geoport slide, 3D, with for, for KMSS device. This interface allows us to include the routes of uh, passes of the satellite, the swaths. Now, if you have ballistic files, then the interface allows us to visualize this information for other satellites as well, which allows us to find the overlap zones and orbits of Meteor 1 with the orbits of other satellites. And this same mechanism allows us to forecast the movement of satellites in the future, two weeks ahead. On the geoportal, we have information necessary for radiometric calibration of the target formation. We have uploaded all the target polygons there from Landsat in this case. On the portal, it is possible to view them and select the ones necessary for subsequent calibration. Here you can see the interface, which is a summarizing our work. Naturally, different colors are used to highlight the status. For instance, green color highlights the equipment which is working in standard mode, which whose all controllable parameters are within the limits. The red color means that at least one of the controllable parameter is over its uh, threshold. The lack of any color means that because of some reasons, the complex failed to receive this information and there was no processing done. If you try to enlarge one of these squares and click on it, you get detailed information about it. With the whole list of controllable parameters. This way, because of our work, we have achieved the following results. You can read them on the slide. I must tell you that when we were just starting in 2015, in 2016, the way we did the distributed processing with this simultaneous quality assurance, then we were among the first on the market doing this. But everything is developing so fast nowadays. I mean, our country, first of all, and our company of Roscosmos. And I know that our colleagues in ETP and RKS also use in full this distributed processing methodology that allows them to increase the speed of processing by multifold, according to our measurement. And the software developed by us under this project, in fact, with certain adjustment, allows us to use it for other satellites as well. Considering that the aerospatial program is going to develop further and the number of satellites launched into space will be growing. The pressure on the operators receiving information from them must be reduced. And the result of our work, if we use it, can help them with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear colleagues, are there any questions for the speaker?
Hello, I'm Eric from uh, Spain. I have a question on the um, 3D visuals you showed. Were these done, uh, developed in, with in-house? Can you please repeat the question? We didn't have the earphones then. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, you showed some three visuals of globes and uh, how the satellites move in 3D. Were these done, developed in-house, or did you uh, use some uh, commercial solution for this? Of course, we we use the open uh, source uh, 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 software for that. We didn't do that. It wasn't done in-house. Did I answer your question? Yes, the open source software was that? We used the cesium library. Thank you. Sergey Belov is our tech director. He answered the question in my stead. The cesium library. Thank you. And now, colleagues. Now, Meteor is working automatically by uh, transmitting information which is automatically archived and processed within reasonable time. Perhaps you are aware and of this. Do you participate in the subsequent development of programs for meteors or are they uh, doing their own uh, independent thing now? Thank you for your question. Now, we work in close cooperation with the corporation of NEM. We cannot work without, without them, and they cannot work without us. Any more questions? Actually, I have one more question. An obvious user of this complex would be the Ministry of Natural Resources. Did you? try to int integrate ne uh, research center Planeta. Actually, we started to work with them, and they were among the co-implementers. So, so they do use our results. OK, thank you very much. Dear colleagues, are there any more questions from the floor? Thank you. Let's uh, give it up to our speaker.